G'day guys and welcome back to Raging Rhino. Alright, if you haven't been keeping in touch with what's happening with Star Wars and what they're coming out with recently, we of course had the announcement of Star Wars Visions a couple of weeks ago or at least a couple of months ago. And of course we had the announcement of the second season of The Bad Batch. Now, they've just released a trailer for their Star Wars Visions animated, uh, anime series I should say that they're doing. Uh, which is due on Disney Plus on the 22nd of September. So I don't know who's excited for this. I really, really don't. Um, now, they've come out with two trailers. They've come out with a Japanese trailer and an English dubbed trailer as well. So obviously, it's all in Japanese. I find it so funny that they're trying to tap into the anime, uh, the hype around anime at the moment. I, I think it's just ridiculous from Lucasfilm. So I'm going to give a shout out to Lethal Lightning. He's the one that shared this with me. Uh, let's take a look at the YouTube channel, the Star Wars YouTube channel. Now, I find it very interesting that both of them have exactly 14k views. Uh, I did find that a little bit interesting. But anyway, let's get into this. Let's take a listen and let's watch and see what they're going to give us. Long ago, a great warrior came to this village and entrusted our ancestors with this its power and responsibility now lie with you. You've been guided by the Force since you were born. At last. The moment arrives. It's the first time I've confronted such darkness. Something ancient and sinister. We are going to be a proper family. I accept this responsibility. Well, the first thing that I'll say is that I'm not a massive anime person. I d I'm not a massive fan of anime. It's not to say that the stories aren't good and everything. It's just the, the animation and what I'm actually watching that I don't really connect with or get into. This, though, I will say it, it definitely uh, feels more like Star Wars than anything that they've given us uh, in, in the sequel trilogy any of any of the stuff it, it feels more like star wars in some of those moments there's some there's some moments in there that i saw that could be maybe a little bit redeeming but in all honesty it just it's not a star wars thing i don't understand i do actually understand that they're trying to uh latch on to the hype around anime at the moment and that's where they're trying to grow this from it makes me wonder who though th again this is for I wonder if the anime crowd's going to get into it. Are the Star Wars crowd going to get into it? It's now the an anime side of things. Let me know it, it, what you guys th thought about that trailer. We might actually watch the Japanese one. Let's take a look. I still find it interesting that they've both got the same amount of views. Sneni 
この時を待っていた<笑>このような闇と初めて対峙した闇を感じた。共にあらんことつつしんでお受けします。Uh, the English dubbing is a, a, is a trap.、Uh, the English dubbing, that, watching that in, with the Japanese,、um, it didn't feel like Star Wars at all.、Uh, it definitely felt and sounded just like anime.、Uh, and I know that's what they're going for, don't get me wrong, but it's not a Star Wars thing. I know it's not canon and everything, so don't freak out. But again, everything that. That Lucasfilm is doing, why even bother spending time on something that's not canon? You know, you, you've got so many questions that need answering through the stuff that you've produced. Why don't you actually concentrate on actually answering some of those questions? I just dropped a video about tracking fobs from The Mandalorian. No explanation for those. And I don't expect an explanation, but pff, why waste time with this? You know, Open up a multiverse. That's what they want to turn Star Wars into. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought about these trailers in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.